wow. This is, this is, whoa. I'm gonna throw my spool aside. That is a beauty. Hi everybody, it's Jerry here. Tonight I am looking to get a keeper size striper on my pier fly rod or my pier banking rod tonight. Um, as you've seen it in my other videos, it's just a cork grip handle and a blank that was busted. I just fitted a handle to it. I'm in the process of deciding what to do with my guides. Um, but I put it to trial in fresh water, salt water, but I haven't had anything um, really big yet. So tonight I am looking for something that will really put a bend in the rod and see how it handles. Uh, I think I can handle just about anything out there. I just would need a net. And I'm just looking to get a gander at the fish. Hopefully if we get anything, we'll get him up here, get a look at him, uh, get him on the wood would be a bonus. I'm not looking to keep anything. So I'm just trying to see how effective this is as a pure fly rod. But uh, let's get started and uh, fishing, see what's out there, and let's see what happens. That is a keeper striper. And I'm using the, my pure banking rod tonight. Hopefully I'll get him over the rail. Wow, that's a beauty. I don't know if you can see him. I just want to get a good look at him. Wow. That is a nice fish on my little banking rod. Wow. Hopefully we'll get him up. There he is. Oh. There he goes. So this is the pier banking rod. Um, not made for super long cast, but I can get out there. Probably 60 feet easy with it. And uh, it's very simple. Um, it's just a rod or a spool line on my on the floor, and I just want to work it close next to the pier. And again, closer the better. Sometimes they range in and out. But it's just a matter of these stripers going on the feed. And that's what we're waiting for. They come out on the prowl. And uh, they don't go too far out. Wow. This is a bigger, bigger fish. For sure. Whoa, he's going deep. He's digging deep. Wow. I just got to tire him up. And turn on my light. See, he's down there. It's coming up now. I just want to see how big he is. I just broke him. He's coming up. Whoa, he's going back down. I got 30 pound leader on. That shouldn't break. I just want to, there he is. See that? Wow. That's a beauty. Hopefully we'll get him up here without having him drop and get a nice picture. This is more than fun. I'm get him a little bit tired, not too tired. Ease him in. Still got life in him. There he is. <laughs> wow, that was fun. We got a nice picture. A pretty, pretty fish. Let's see if we get something bigger out there and uh, get him on his way.
again, if I haven't mentioned when I'm working, I'm just working mostly the sides and just in front of me. Um, there's all kinds of structure where these fish hang out around. And I'll send it down on the side and just twitch it. Or sometimes I'll work it. And, and uh, keep my fingers crossed around the line and hope for the best. But uh, that's all there really is. So, a little bit more, but that's the nuts and bolts. This is... Oh my lord! Wow! This is by certain a beauty. And I had to drop one, but this one is bigger. That's the thing, uh, you got to put a bit of pressure on them, you don't want to give them too much, and uh, if you give them too much, uh, the chances of coming off are greater. Alright, um, maybe we could stick another. I've seen him, he was definitely at 30, 32, he's, he's a big fish. So I'm using a variety of half and halves, but the biggest variety, I'm just basically using yellow, 2-0 and 3-0 hooks. And that guy used the 3-0 uh, half and half. That's what I'm using tonight. I do have other colors, but I really like these for this kind of fish. Other nights, there's other things that work, but this is, seems to be what they want. Yeah, it's a big fish. A matter of tying them out, coming up. Wow, he is definitely a keeper. much pressure. Wow. There he is. I don't know if we're going to land him. But we got a beautiful look. That's definitely a netting fish. get him tired, we may have a chance to get him up, but it's a beautiful fish. Instead I don't want to put too much pressure. I just want to get a nice shot. There he is. Wow. You can see the pier rod easily can handle. He's here. I had a gaff or a net would happen. He's definitely a keeper. This is the well this is the hard part. <laughs> but if I had a net we definitely these hours. Tired, maybe I can pull him up. There he is. Not 30 pounds. 
but People may say fishing like this is crazy. I really, you can call it that. You can definitely call it that. But uh, this is uh, an art that we are going to perfect and get it right. So you can call it what you want. And uh, all the fish are being taken on uh, yellow-white uh, half-half, half klaus or deceiver, 2-0 to 3-0 oh, shark. Medium uh, weight or so. Don't ask me what it is exactly. But you get an idea. It's a 3-0 oh, okay, this one. And that's what I'm using. And it came out of nowhere. darn close to it.
One other thing I would like to employ also is a, probably a more ergonomic spool um, to hold on to, but this is just fine. This does the job. But just something, something to consider is probably a more ergonomic spool. So this is the pier banking rod. Um, not made for super long cast, but I can get out there. Probably 60 feet easy with it. And uh, it's very simple. Um, it's just a rod with a spool line on my on the floor. And I just want to work it close next to the pier. And again, closer the better. Sometimes they range in and out. But it's just a matter of these stripers going on the feed. And that's what we're waiting for. They come out on the prowl. And uh, they don't go too far out. Again, if I haven't mentioned when I'm working, I'm just working mostly the sides and just in front of me. Um, there's all kinds of structure where these fish hang out around. And I'll send it down on the side and just twitch it. Or sometimes I'll work it. And, and uh, keep my fingers crossed around the line and hope for the best. But uh, that's all there really is. Well, a little bit more, but that's the nuts and bolts. Again, I am using a weighted line, a heavily weighted line, probably six to eight inch per second sink rate. Um, I do have floating line. Um, I like this in the moving water better. I prefer it. It's probably a little heavy for the setup, but it's no big deal. I can work with it. Um, it's a whole idea, you know, I can work with it. So it's working. I like it. And uh, get fishing. Now, as far as the leader, I'm using just a couple feet of a plain old. 30 pound monofilament, um, uh, two perfection loops, I think that's about 40 pound here, but I usually will start with, oh, three to six feet, and maybe if I'm lucky by the end of the night, I'm down to there, but this is just 30 pound plain monofilament, that's it. Sometimes you got to think like a fish. <laughs> um, while everyone's up the inlet um, chasing blues, I'm slipping back here looking for bass. Well, hopefully we get a big one. <laughs> but uh, tonight I'm thinking like a bass. <laughs> so um, it's kind of slipping, and before you know it, they're all over. But or they do what they do, like us people. But uh, let's get fishing. Alright everybody, thanks again for watching, um, really the rod is more than met my expectations, a um, few things I would like to do, I would definitely like to make it a softer action, um, uh, I think I'm dropping a few fish because it might be too stiff, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I think it's a little too stiff, I think a little more uh, softer action. Uh, just so when the fish lunges, it gets a little more play. I know it looks a little skinny, but um, a little light, but I think the tip could be a little lighter, a little softer action. Definitely in the works, the stripper guide. I want to definitely move the stripper up here, shift the guide so I get a better 90 degree arc at mid range, which should be a better action. So I have to play with the guides a bit. But it definitely does the job. I know I can get fish probably twice as big as those. Um, the fish have been pretty good to me. Um, got a couple keepers, as you see. Uh, dropped a couple keepers. Uh, hit some small fish. Dropped a few fish. But really, the rod performs uh, excellent. And uh, definitely going to be using it. Definitely going to you know, do some modifications on it and uh, it's definitely going to be a regular thing and I'm going to be looking for bigger, bigger fish on it soon. So, um, 
really good fishing, good equipment. Uh, again, it's practical, light, effective, and uh, just good stuff. But uh, like I said, we're going to be doing more about it, so I think I'm rambling. But thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, dislike, comment. I love them all, good, bad. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'd like to hear anything you guys have to say. And remember, always fish your way. Thanks again for watching. Have a good night. Or morning. <laughs>